Hi readers, today we're going to do something a little bit different for phonics. I'm going to be showing you some pictures and we are going to be practicing the short vowel A today, which makes the ah, ah, ah sound. So today we are going to take a look at some pictures and we're going to be talking about the short vowel A. And that makes the ah, ah, ah sound. When we want to say that a vowel is short, we usually just do this little U symbol at the top. It's important to know that because sometimes you might see pictures or Mrs. Ferris might be talking about that. And so it's important that that's how we mark a short vowel. So today, we are going to look for words that have the ah, ah, ah sound. So if it has the ah sound, like a short, um, short vowel A, we're going to put it over here. If it does not have a short vowel sound, we'll put, put it over here. So this is our no pile, and this is our yes pile. So let's see what the monster has for us. This is a dog. Does dog have ah, ah, ah in it? No. What about bag? Does b, ag have the ah, ah, ah sound in it? Yes, it does. What about rug? Rug. Does rug have the ah, ah, ah sound? No, it does not. Oh, I think that was our last one. So we have our bag, dog, and rug. Now, I have several words that I'm going to be quiet for, and you're going to try to read all of these words 1 to 14. So pause the video, try to read these because these are all words that have the short A. I'll do the first three with you and then you can read the rest by yourself. If you need to take your pointer finger and if you need to sound out every sound before you put it all together to make a word, then you can do that too. K at cat. Ad, sad, m, ap, map. Now pause this video and read all the rest of the words. All right. We'll do one last activity. It says, I can read words with the short A sound. So we're going to read some words and then we're gonna um, circle the picture that matches the word right here. So you need to read the word, k at, and then we know that it's a cat. And pan. Now you try this one. M a p map. Another strategy you can use if you're not quite sure how to read the word, you can look at the pictures and see if you can match the very first sound. The first sound of this word is s. Looks like we have a person who sat and was reading. We have a fan. And it looks like we have some sort of fall activity. Mrs. Ferris isn't even sure what this exactly is. So let's see. Sat, fan, fall. Can't be this one because that beginning sound is F. Can't be this one because that beginning sound is F. It has to be this one right here. S at. 
that. So that's another strategy for you. You can always look at the very first sound of a word to help you in your reading. An. Fan. Now you read it. This is a b. A g. So it does have a short a, but it's not this ending sound. This ends with a t. -t, -t. This is a h at. My writing's not perfect, but I'm trying my best. At, which has the same ending sound, but not the same beginning sound. And then we have this, which is a b. A t. That. So we know that this is the sound, or that is the picture. Hmm. Can you read this? Is this a man or a mat? Man. Now you try this one by yourself. Is this a cap or a cab? This is a cab. We don't see these too much all the time anymore, but a cab is like a taxi that can give you a ride somewhere if you need a ride some place and you don't have a car. Last one. Is this a nap or sap? <gasps> That's what that picture was. I didn't connect it earlier, but this is sap right here with the fall activity. <laughs> it's sap. So we know that this is sap. It's what comes from trees. And this little tool right here can help you get the sap out of trees. So as we finish our phonics lesson out, I want you to get out your whiteboard. You can also use your whiteboard with the lines. And I want you to try very hard to write at least five words that have the short A sound. That's your, your challenge for today, right? Writers and readers, have an awesome day.